When you smoke a cigarette, you inhale a drug called nicotine. Is love stronger than a drug? And even so, how far would you go in the name of love? This is one of the central questions Love Lies Bleeding is asking. Hi there, it's Micha. What that exactly means you can find out if you join me for a bit. It's the late 80s when we meet Lou, who manages the local gym in a small town community. Yep. When Jackie, a bodybuilder on her way to a tournament, walks in one day, the two women instantly fall in love with each other. However, unbeknown to Lou, Jackie just took a job at the local firing range, which is owned and run, as most of the town, by her estranged father, the resident kingpin. The fact that Jackie previously slept with Lou's brother-in-law to get the job also doesn't help things, especially since Lou hates the guy for beating up her sister quite regularly. When her sister soon after wakes up in a hospital bed, Lou wants that jerk to die. And he does, but that is just the beginning. This A24 production is, as we grow to expect, very well filmed and acted. Kristen Stewart gives another strong performance as Lou, while our favorite sneaky imperial officer from The Mandalorian, Katie O'Brien, flexes not only her acting muscles in this one. Dave Franco makes for a convincing dirtbag wife beater and Jenna Malone, in a rather small role as his victim, also doesn't disappoint. One of the biggest laughs of the movie came when Ed Harris appeared for the first time. Not due to his acting, which is strong as ever, but due to his hairdo. Uh, this is Mr. Langston. Hi. She needs a job, says she'll do anything. I figured we could use some spare hands. Yeah, you like guns. You gotta love the 80s. The movie offers some solid twists and turns, all embedded around the question how far you would go in the name of love, which here is compared to an addiction. When Jackie first arrives, Lou hands her some steroids. Ta da. Is this yours? Yeah. How am I doing? It's fine. I can't afford them. As almost everyone in the gym uses those. The guys here order them in bulk from like Germany or Romania, they're fucking everywhere. As Jackie's muscles grow, so does her love for Lou. And as much as the drug starts to influence her sense of reality and behavior, so are her feelings for her lover, which made her do things she, likely, would otherwise never have done. We also see though, if love is enough to keep you from hurting someone you love be it due to missing impulse control or just to save your own skin. Much of the movie is wrapped around those metaphorical questions and some of them actually influence the visuals on screen, as there are some moments that are totally meta and it will be up to you as the viewer to decide if you take them at face value or not. Be aware though that many twists and some of those meta moments are given away in the trailer, so if you are interested in the movie, don't spoil yourself by watching the trailer beforehand. And with that being said, let's get to the rating. That was a solid movie that didn't really tell you anything new, but does it so in an entertaining fashion and with some interesting visual cues. The acting is strong and the story appealing and mostly consistent, besides the meta moments, which is by design. The only thing that didn't really make much sense to me was the bully being able to beat up his wife without prior consequences or even fear of those, as the battered woman is the daughter of the local crime boss. I would have expected the father to look out for his daughter and smack some respect into that little jerk, but who knows why people act as they do. So just a minor issue. I'm rating this one with 7.5 out of 10 points, placing it halfway between a good and a really great movie. Mega fans of one of the actors would likely score it even higher, while people who don't embrace LGBTQ plus topics would likely score it lower. What about you? Are you a fan of movies that take place in the 80s? What is your take on meta elements finding their way onto screen? Does that bother you or are you happy to decide what to take at face value? Whatever you like to share, let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, feel free to like, share or subscribe. So much for now, see you next time and thanks for watching. Jackie just took a job at the local firing range, which is range, ranch, range, range.
the fact that Jackie, the fact that Jackie previously, the fact that and Jenna Malone in a rather small role in this as his victim, victim, 